Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coin here coming back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well, taking care of yourselves. Alright, so just wanted to put out a quick video. Nothing too spectacular going on or happened today. Um, wanted to do this yesterday, didn't get a chance, so here I am. Now, to get started here, um, yesterday what, there was quite a, a drop off yesterday. I think XRP dropped like 5 cents. Uh, Cardano dropped a bit, but either way, this is just, you know, part of the market, pullbacks, whatnot. I think we are still marching on. Uh, we've kind of recovered a lot of that uh, from yesterday, but all in all, things are looking fairly good. We've had a mixed day today. Uh, right now, it's mostly red, but or a lot of red, but it's been back and forth all day. Uh, I did want to just reiterate about... Uh, getting these projects you know the projects that you like and and actually the projects that are actually going to do you the best you know do, do you the most good I'll say um, we can't a lot of times we tend to get stuck on things that we like or uh, we just you know kind of get tribal about things but look guys when it all comes down to it this is about making money that's what it's about now I have stood strong with XRP simply because I know its potential uh, because look at all the all the hate that it gets uh, the SEC <laughs> filing the lawsuit and all that so um, even though yeah we could have been in a lot of other things uh, I could have anyway and made a lot more money if I had in this last bull run if I had all the money that I had in XRP if I had put that in Cardano I can tell you right now, I'd be sitting pretty, right? So um, the the thing to consider or, or really concentrate on is what is going to get you the most profit? Some of us, you know, hey, some people say, well, I don't need to worry about that. I just really care about the, you know, the technology or whatever. Look, I don't care about that. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest. The only thing I really care about is just where can this go? And how can it benefit me? You know, we as retail people, we don't, I, I personally believe a lot of times we don't look at things, uh, you know, in the proper perspective because the people who are up there doing these things, see, they have the luxury of saying that they're into something because of the uh, technology. But you got to understand those people, those same people have millions hundreds of millions of XRP or whatever, you know, product, project they are invested in, or probably m more than one, I'm sure. But every time it goes up and comes back down, they can make money. We just don't have that type of capital. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, the most important thing to me is making money on it first, and then I can get into, you know, caring about the project. However, again, XRP has the best technology or you know one of the best technologies and they are they're, they're being adopted so or it's being adopted so all in all it, it really ticks all the boxes but let's also look into other things like for example i think cardano again is an excellent buy it's in the 30 cent range right and if you really think about it where it went last time this time it's very likely it's going to go it's going to go to where xrp should have gone like eight to ten bucks right what i think is that something like that is going to give you a very good return right uh, cardano has a lot of developer activity it's uh it's very you know it's it's flipped xrp a few times so uh, I think personally, that is a good buy. And um, honestly, that's, you know, that's one of the things I'm focusing on. Um, so uh, all in all, my whole point here is don't get stuck on something just because, you know, or let me rephrase that. In my opinion, we shouldn't get stuck on things just because we like it. Because that doesn't mean it is the best thing right because again we're in this market to make money 
right? That's what it comes down to. And if you're not making money, you're not making sense, okay? All right, so something else I wanted to talk about <clears throat> was this AI pin, right? I don't know, the other things I'm gonna talk about are not crypto related, but just interesting stuff, right? So I, I checked out the video. It seems very interesting. However, um, as you can see here, I said I would pass, like, right? It's, it's basically a Alexa on your lapel. I mean, it, if you check out the video, me personally, I, I, I kind of feel like it would be an invasion of privacy. It's going to track where you are. It's going to track what you do. I mean, just like our phones do. Um, but I also, I kind of get the feeling it's it's like getting us ready for more um, AI surve surveillance, right? That's the kind of the feeling that I get about it. Um, all in all, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. It's it, I never think, I, I would never think that wearing uh an alexa on, <laughs> on your body could ever be a good thing yeah it's convenient you can just press a button and say hey can you find this for me or things like that but see also another thing that we don't need is something to take over our thinking that this thing is not something that is going to enhance your abilities yeah it, it'll uh, enhance what you can like get done but at the end of the day, is it making you better as a person? Is it expanding your, um, um, your, your thoughts and ideas and your understanding and knowledge? No, because you're, you're basically relegating the learning to AI. And that is, me personally, I think that is the whole purpose, to get you um, away from having any real thoughts i mean kind of what it comes down to but hey that's just my opinion tell me what you think uh like i said me it's a hard pass on that right there okay <clears throat> moving on the problem i have is with this whole idea of clean energy now i think like the electric cars are cool the solar panel thing is very cool but it will never be a good alternative for what we already have what's been powering our um, country in the world for you know at least a couple hundred years coal fire coal sorry coal fired power plants and uh, you know even uh, even uh, gas or what is it the uh, like propane or whatever that they're that they are um, also getting those things work a whole lot better than electricity simply because you know it doesn't matter if it's raining or shining or cold or hot or whatever it's still going to work but see the problem with it the problem with clean energy is if there's no wind you don't get power if there's no sun it's at the very least reduced right um if it's raining, you're not going to get much at all. Not to mention, these things are not easily recyclable. We are we are being pushed down a road of insustainability. Right? It's it's not going to be a good thing for us. We are the ones that are going to have to sacrifice. And they said it, they've said as much. These so-called elite, they are they are preparing us for a world where we are even deeper in servitude. Like. They've even said, you'll own nothing. You know, Klaus Schwab has said, you'll own nothing and be happy. They want you to lease everything. Okay? They want you to rent everything. They want to own it. And they want you perpetually paying for things. They don't want you to pay anything off. They don't, they, they don't want you to own anything. I mean, even the clothes on your back, you won't own. What is that about? That's not a good thing. And that's something that we all need to stand up against. Okay, now YouTube may not like this, but hey, whatever. The fact of the matter is, as people, as sovereign individuals on this planet, we cannot give up that which makes us individuals. Because the only way we can make a solid group is for that group to be made up of individuals. That may not sound like uh, it, it, it may not sound like something that you agree with or whatever, but that's the case. 
because every group is made up of individuals and every individual is like a body you know a body is made up of many different things ears eyes nose skin legs arm. but each thing has its own job and they all contribute for the betterment of the individual so it's the same goes for a group the, every individual contributes for the betterment of the group and without that individual uh, uniqueness that we all have the group will never thrive and survive so we cannot allow ourselves to be pushed down a road where we don't own where we don't have say so over the things that affect our lives we cannot give we can't give that up so again these are just my opinions if you don't agree with it that's fine but that's the way I feel so anyway guys as I said this is going to be a real quick one I hope um, this was at the very least entertaining uh, just keep your eyes open and and understand that there's we don't have time to time to play games we don't right now it's very it's a very dire situation that we're in there's a lot more I could get into but if you do your research you'll find it there's a lot that's been happening and you're gonna have to be ready to take care of yourselves and your families and and those who you care most for uh, in your lives so anyway I hope uh, again hope you enjoyed it uh, if you haven't done so already please hit that subscribe button like button and the post notification button and come back and see me again uh, I will be putting out I'm trying to uh, do like at, at least uh, a video every other day or you know sometimes you they'll they'll be back to back so uh, anyway uh, yeah it's just, I'm sorry guys, it's just so much going on. I, I want to talk about, but you know, again, YouTube is highly censored, so I can't talk about it. Either way, with all that being said, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and truly, God bless. Oh.